from the main timer pro professional menu uh, main menu we're going to look at the standard data library so we can view the existing standard data libraries um, the package is provided with a number of standard data libraries already in place you can see them listed here for instance electrical and electronics we have data for all of these common tasks here as you drill down not only do we have the actual time data we, in many cases we have the details of what went into that particular operation so the idea in a standard data library is you simply point at an option and you drill down to locate the data item you're looking for this is an electrical module electrical and electronics module here it's got things like um, printed circuit boards you see here soldering every time you drill down you get additional options that you can select from so every one of these has different choices underneath it right uh, another module that's very popular would be like the material handling module because in here we get information for fort lifts pallet handling pick up one right along with the details now if you don't like the value that we're showing you here 16 seconds you can change that value because all of this information is actually coming from an Excel sheet. The Excel sheet is called material handling and the cell in the Excel sheet that contains this particular piece of data is D404. This little number down here is a key number that tells us where the data is in the database. So for instance, if you're doing packing and unpacking, right, and you're doing some container handling, you're packing material, you click down, it's in D1029. And then you can see all the details. So every single module that you see here is uh, is available to you to use. Uh, material handling, mechanical assembly, for instance. Right, inspect, visual inspect, surface two size, different sizes. Right, and you can see the uh, coordinates are showing here. Um, we can click out of this. We can actually show you. We went to the material handling. So I'm going to go to the maintenance of this area now, and we're going to go to the material handling module. This is the actual module itself. Now, it's all been developed and loaded for you. Right, so you can see all of the data here. It's a little tight because we put a lot of information in there, but you can manually edit these and copy them around as you wish for the different areas that you might be working in here. Right? So the big opportunity, however, is to develop your own standard data library. Right? And the way that's done is you go into the standard data library maintenance and you simply give it a name, call it my own. Right? And what's going to happen is when you click on that open here, you're going to get a completely blank Excel sheet. And then you can say uh, this could be uh, warehousing. This could be um, assembly, this could be test, and this could be pack and ship. Right? So it's called my own data library, and here's our data. Under here is where you're going to put your time. So you may say uh, receive uh, goods, and let's say it takes uh, time equals 30 seconds to do that. Right? Assemble, small part time equals 10 to do that, right? Assemble large part. Now this is doing it manually. You're obviously not going to do that. You're going to use the tools that we give you to develop it. So you can say test, uh, test current. Right? Time equals 15. And I'll just put one there, as you say, ship out, ship out, right? And the time for that equals 30. Okay. Don't want to leave any blank rows, so I'm going to delete this guy, right? So here I've got warehousing assembly, could be any simpler than this, right? Could not be any simpler. Let's just add, add uh, three more lines here just to show you, we insert some rows in Excel. And here I'm going to do uh, uh, extended test. Right, and this will be uh, spec one, per spec one. Right. Time equals 15.8, right, per spec two. Time equals 22.5, okay. 
So if we take a mental picture of this right now, I'm going to close out of this. I don't even have to save it. I'm just, well, I'm going to save it. I don't want to lose it, right? But I've, all the data has been taken care of here, and then I close out of it. And now I can come over, for instance, into my line balancing. So I'm going to open up my line balancing module here. And I'm going to open up one of the processes I've already got in place here. And of course, what I could do is I could insert a new task, hit the right mouse button, add a task, call it new task. If I don't like where it went, I can drag it around to put it in the place where I want it to go. I can take work from other stations and drop it in there, but I don't want to do that. I want to call my data library. So I go to my data library. It remembers the last one we used. Here's the warehousing. You're going to receive goods. You're going to assemble a small part. Right, you're going to test it. Here's the extended test. Notice that when the end items are the no entry signs at the end, that's where the times are. Right, and notice down here the cell C10. That means in cell C10 of my own data library, I had this particular piece of data. And then we're going to pack and ship it, ship it out. And then when we click on the save, it dumps it right in here into our line balancing. So that's the power of the standard data libraries. You can take data you've already got and additional data that you developed within uh, the Timer Pro package and use it. You can use your own module, right? Or you can use any of the ones that we give you. We give you modules that include about 17,000 pieces of standard data that you can drill down and make your selections from. As you make your selections, they're being dumped into the, uh, in this case, the balance in the background, and there's your data going in there.